Welcome to our next museum. Now, you've probably never seen this museum before because it's not some place that we would go very often. This is the Guggenheim in Bilbao, Spain. Now, you'll notice that this building looks different. It has lots of metal and these undulating forms or their curved forms. And it looks like another building that we've seen before. That's right. It's like the Pritzker Pavilion in Chicago. Now it's designed by the same architect, Frank Gehry, and it has a similar style. Like artists, architects have a similar style that they kind of lean towards and they like to use when they design. But Frank Gehry took the context of this um, museum or the, the buildings around it and what's going on around it to design the building. What do you think it looks like? Hmm. Well, I'll give you a hint, if you haven't already guessed. It's on the water, and this used to be a fishing village. That's right, it looks kind of like a boat, doesn't it? Well, Frank Gehry was inspired by the history of the town, Bilbao, and it's right by the water, so he made the building look kind of like a boat. Let's go inside. A famous piece of art that you'll see at the Guggenheim and Bilbao is Untitled by Mark Rothko. Now Mark Rothko was well known or is well known for his color blocking style, which means he paints blocks of color. Now Mark Rothko doesn't really like to talk about his style of painting or how it makes it artistic or how he uses color and value. He just likes to talk about how his paintings make you feel. And he says he has an emotion in mind when he paints. So what emotion do you think he had when he painted this one? Well, we really don't know. But you could say maybe it makes you feel warm because of the warm colors, makes it, you feel inviting. Or maybe it makes you feel kind of angry or something simmering inside because of the red. Really, there's no right or wrong answer. It's up to you, and it's up to how it makes you feel. Another sculpture you'll see at the Guggenheim Bilbao is Puppy by Jeff Koons. Now, we think of puppies as being very small, but you can see that this puppy is huge and it's very expensive to take care of. You think that, oh, it's just a sculpture and they're gonna plant some flowers on it, but no, they have to replant it twice a year and it's got this elaborate sprinkler system under, underneath and inside. And like the flowers or like a puppy would grow, the flowers are growing too. So it's an iconic sculpture for the museum. The last sculpture we're going to see at the Guggenheim Bilbao is Maman by Louise Bourgeois. Now, Maman is actually 30 feet tall, so it would take like five of your dads to reach the top. And so she seems very scary because she's so much taller than us. And we know she's a she because she's carrying her egg sac in her body, and her body's like a cage around these eggs. But even though she seems very scary because she's bigger than us, she's also very, has these thin legs that look delicate, like they could break. Well, thank you for visiting the Guggenheim and the Bow Spain with me. Next week, stay tuned because I think we're going to go to a place that's actually not really a museum, but it has tons of really famous art.